relations between U.S. and North Korea specifically. Nuclear war will be catastrophic. There is an estimated half a billion people that will die from nuclear war, which is 10 times as many people that have died in World War II. This is Kim Jong-un, dictator of North Korea. Under his regime, there has been six nuclear tests up to date. Kim Jong-un has been universally regarded as very inexperienced and volatile. His obsession with nukes has led to sanctions from regional allies such as China. Donald Trump, United States fierce leader, has a less than friendly take on North Korea relations, as you can see from his Twitter. Congress has also implemented new policies on North Korea, such as sanctions. A naval sanction or a blockade will reduce certain types of fuel inputs by 90%. A military blockade, however, will be the most effective, but once implementing that, it's going to violate the international laws and will be declared as an act of war. Furthermore, by implementing the naval blockade, North Korea will most likely target our vessels, or worse, create more nukes to start a nuclear war. So in times of war, what have citizens done to protect themselves? In World War II, civilians carried around gas masks to protect themselves against gas bombs. Recently, the threat has become nuclear weapons as opposed to gas bombs. We can take inspirations from these workers from nuclear power plants to protect ourselves against nuclear weapons. So from nuclear weapons, there's three types of radiation. Alpha, beta, and gamma. It, the filters and the gas masks protect the citizens from alpha particles, and the suits protect the citizens from beta particles. The problem is gamma rays. Lead can stop gamma rays, but wearing a lead suit is simply not feasible. So what can we do to protect ourselves in a nuclear war? Let's head to the... Crafty Corner. Oh howdy, you're in my house. For today's DIY mask, you will need paper. Yarn. And scissors. And you'll need fabric. Step one. Take your piece of paper and fold it in half, hamburger style. Hot dog style. Hot dog style. Step two. Take your scissors, fold your ham your hot dog in half, cut eye slits. Hot dog squared. The slits that I'm going to cut for my eyes will be really small because my eyes are small. I'm making hearts because I love crafts. Now unfold and you can see. Next step, take your paper and cut a slit where the nose should be. This is for breathing. Make it until you fake it. Do you even know me? I'm so patriotic. Step. Next step. Go. Step five. Next step. Mouth. Alright. Can't see through. Make any necessary adjustments. Take your fabric, okay. cut enough to cover your nose and your mouth holes. Ow! <laughs> Sorry, man down. Once you have your fabric cut, take some painter's tape, peel it. Very appealing. Ew. <laughs> Pass it to your friend. If you have friends. If that's a big if. Take the fabric on the whole, because these are filters against gamma rays. These will definitely, definitely protect you against gamma radiation. Yeah. The back should look something like this. And the front, like that. Stunning. That's hot. Pass my compliments to the chef. For the eyes, you need clear tape. Otherwise, you can't see. But if you're blind, that won't be that important. If you're blind, then there's no point in cutting holes for the eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're blind, disregard step three. Cut tape over the eye. I don't even need one tape, okay? I need one tape for both. Yeah. <laughs> the more transparent it is, the more you can see. Unfortunately, this is very uh, ugly. If you use regular scotch tape, you may be able to see some light. Light. I see a uh, really red. Oh, that's blue. Now that you're basically done with the mask part, it's time to measure your head. Take out your yarn. Cut enough of the yarn so that it goes around your head. Now, between, with your scissor, poke a hole between your eye and the nose. In the general cheek area. Ow! If you become wounded, use tape. Thread your yarn between. And tie it. I'm not an expert, okay? No, I'm you're an not. expert. <laughs> <laughs> not that you're cool. Did you hear that? That's the sound of some of my parents yelling about tea. As we know, gamma rays can be protected by lead. You just have to make your paper into lead by drawing on it with a pencil. Yeah. The more lead you put on here, the safer you'll be. Protect! Protect! Uh, we know that it's hard to acquire blocks of lead, so. This is why we're making this DIY, so we can spread this knowledge to the public. We want everyone to stay safe in the 
next war. It's kind of hard to tell where my eyebrows are, but they're right here. Everyone <laughs> needs to make these when nuclear war strikes, because without it, you'll die. This is your mask. With these masks, you'll definitely be protected against any gamma radiation. And you can definitely see everything. I see the light of God. Thanks for watching.